deserved. I would say specifically Russ, he looked a lot more engaged tonight. What did you see that was different from him yesterday versus today? Um, I just thought his energy, you know, um, gave us a lot of life. Him and T-Man's energy both tonight. And, um, you know, Russ is pushing the ball in transition, getting guys shots, you know, attacking the basket, getting to the rim, and then also making plays for his teammates. And so, um, when he's putting up that kind of energy, you know, it brings it for everyone. And so, um, it was good to see Russ, you know, play well. And so, like, we need him. Um, he's important to our team. And like I said, tonight was a really, a really good, um, good job for him tonight. He played the fourth fewest minutes that he played in his career last night. He was, didn't shoot the ball. Was there anything you had to say to him? Anything you said to him to kind of get his mind on track for this game? No, I just, you know, be who you are. You know, don't, don't let the offense take you out of what you're trying to do and who you are. And so, um, you know, Make it's a make or miss league. You're gonna miss shots, but he brings way more to this team than just making shots. You know, his passing ability, um, his, his ability to guard, his ability to rebound the basketball on both sides, um, pushing the tempo, getting to the basket. And so he did all those things for us tonight. Ty, you guys are obviously built around your stars, but how do you guys win more games like this where you don't have to rely on them so much? The games like T Man and Norm. Yeah, defense. You know, I think defensively, we were really good tonight. You know, I know Luca had 20. 22 in the first half, you know, only have an eight in the second half, but I thought we did a really good job just, you know, game plan wise and um, showing Luca the blitz, sometimes switching, sometimes firing, just try to keep him off balance because, like I said, he always plays great against us. And so just defensively, we struggled to shoot the basketball. Like I said, Kawhi and, and James didn't have a great night and to beat a good team like this, you know, says a lot. Our bench is really good tonight um, as well. So, um, you know, defensively, you know, that's how you're going to win games because you're not going to make shots every single night. And tonight, we, uh, we showed up. With the way Kawhi shot the ball, uh, has he talked to you about sort of, are his, le are his legs under him right now? Who's that? Kawhi. He yeah. seemed like some of his shots tonight were short, same as last night. Is he reporting back to you that he feels as good as ever, or do you have any concern about just sort of him wearing down a little bit? No, I mean, I don't have any concerns. You know, um, if he need some time off, then, you know, he'll let us know, and so with medical. You know, they, they, they um, talk, you know, once a week to see how he's feeling, um, and he feels good right now. So, um, you know, we just got to go with what we got right now. This is obviously, it, th th this is a team that's been here for a week in L.A., basically. You're, you guys obviously put a lot of energy out last night. It's almost like what's harder to do, just be in the city forever or, or turn around and play a game after, after a, a game like the one against Pelicans, right? Is it, is it? Is this a? You know what I'm asking, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> is this a? Is this a function of like the, the new NBA policies here, and, and just you know people find trying to play back to back, trying to try to be out there more um, in games like this? And like, you know, would, would everybody have been out there in a, in other years? I don't know. Um, I really don't. But you know, for us, you know, just trying to you know get our team going in the right direction and you know so for PG and Kawhi you know to play back to backs you know we got five and seven um just shows you how much they care and when they're healthy they do play and so um we haven't been playing great you know we won you know four out of five but we're getting better each night and so I think James is getting more comfortable I think you know seeing Russ tonight and um him coming off the bench I think tonight was the most comfortable he's been since he's been um well maybe the Memphis game but you know, I just think we just got to keep building and keep getting better, you know, each game, each practice, each shoot around. And that's been our mindset. And so you're going to take some wins and losses, whatever, but just keep getting better. So when we get to, you know, around playoff time, we'll be ready to go. Do you think back-to-back sort of like, when you play in them more often, do you, do you feel like it builds on itself? I remember you once told me like when LeBron plays, like he, he plays more minutes so that he can play more minutes. Yeah. Like in other words, there's a cumulative effect of, of yeah. doing these kind of back-to-back -back games. I mean, um, I think it's more mental, uh, not to talk about my terrible career, but I play. I think I, I played better on the second night of a back-to-back, -back, like far as points-wise and stuff like that. So I think a lot of it's mental, you know, just getting over that hurdle. When you have guys just playing, you know, 38, 39 minutes a game, and then they have to carry the team, you know, that's that's a big load. And so, but I just think it's more mental than anything. And like I said, for us, it's been more health-driven, you know, with Kawhi and PG. But now, you know, they're finally healthy and they're feeling good. and. And so it was good to see them play tonight. Thank you. Thanks, Coach. Yeah.